two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, a bit, bit more quiet. Um, I think you can hear me. Uh, perhaps a bit more quiet still, like this. Uh, yeah. Uh, still a bit too loud in OBS. A bit further down. So how's this? Yes, that uh, looks okay, at least as far as I can see. I have no idea if anyone is trying to um, talk to me, so let me check um, if I can pull up a chat anywhere. Wait, which browser window is it? This one. Oh! Okay, there are people in the chat, which means I even have some viewers who have a Twitch account. Uh, I was actually worried because I have no idea how people who don't have a Twitch account are supposed to interact with me. So right now I'm, uh, I, I have Windows open w with um, Telegram and okay, IRC is not yet working. Um, I think now I'm in the Wikidata IRC channel as well. So let me just quickly paste the link there. And I hope the people on Telegram or tele or IRC won't mind too much if I'm basically abusing those platforms as additional um, chats. Okay, so uh, yeah, what queries shall we write? I didn't prepare that much actually, um, but we could try to look through the request a query page and see if there's anything there, which hasn't already been answered by someone else. Uh, which is what usually happens when I look on that page. Um, it looks like those things are already settled, so unless I want to... Um, I, unless I think I can provide a better version of the query. Well, this one, I'm not seeing a query here, so what's this question? So wait, auto-create an item? No, that's not uh, querying. Combine values, separate by a comma, that is um, group concat, yep. Okay, that seems to be solved. If any of you have suggestions for a query, I can try to write, that would actually be great. Uh, I have no idea what the stream delay is right now. Um, I don't remember what I set in Twitch for uh, if I set it to I prefer short delay and quality loss or if I set it to I prefer high quality and longer video delay so I'm not sure how delayed uh, you all are seeing this. I mean one thing we can try is um, what it's what was it World AIDS Day, World AIDS Remembrance Day or something we can try to find the uh, day of today which is which would be item item label Oops, the item has day in year for periodic occurrence, and today is December 1st. And see if we find anything like that. We find World AIDS Day, Great Union Day, a few without labels, okay. And now if we want, to want this to work on any date, instead of December 1st, we would have to construct that item, so something like, what does that item look like? We have... Um, loading, loading... Could it be that live streaming myself takes an effect on my <laughs> internet bandwidth? Well, uh, it's there now. Uh, so it's part of December with a series ordinal, that sounds decent, so if we make something like values um, uh, month number and month 
item with one January to February, March, uh, April, uh, May, June, I have to uh, go through the months in German and live translate, July, August, September, 10 October, November, and December, and then the day has part of P361 is the month, and or no wait, this is the date and bind day of now as the day and month of now as the month and the month number from above should be equals to the well, uh, let's just say directly month of now and delete the line above. So that should give us the item of the current month out of this list of 12. And then the day should be this series ordinal. Oops. Um, and then the item should be on this date. And let's select the date label as well, just in case. Is that still working? No, not quite. Okay, let's comment this out and see if we can still find the date. Uh, this is taking a very long time. The optimizer is probably doing something silly. Um, okay, let's uh, abort that, reload, and instead do something like insert December 1st here, and then we have an underscore and we just select all the things just for to see what we have. Month number is 12, month item is, that is the item for December, so far so good. The day is 1. And the day underscore is also one, but I have a suspicion, which is uh, data type. I think one has X and data type of what? Uh, no, day underscore as Y, and this should be day without underscore. Aha, we have so this is an integer, but the series ordinal is actually a string. So we need to do the string of day of now. And then if you remove this and select the date label again, do we find it now? Um, oh yeah, right. And this needs to be date again. Come on. Um, Okay, you know what, I think what we can actually do is disable the optimizer here. I think it should, that should all be in the right order already. Or maybe not. Oh, no, probably not. But if we... Um, that. Oops. Uh, what's the error? Query hint exception prior. Great, it doesn't tell me what the error is. Uh, you know what, there's something in the chat, uh, two things, so let's get to that. How do you abort a long query? Um, there's no way to stop it actually running on the server. 
Um, there's a long-standing fabrication task about, but it's uh, complicated because you would need that to reach the right one of the eight or so backend servers we actually have. Uh, what you can do is reload the page and then you can immediately send your next query and it doesn't actually abort anything, but at least you don't have to wait anymore and that's all you can do for now. And the other question, is it possible to see through queries which items are most used on a client language version that are missing labels in that language? I don't think that's possible. I'm not sure if the most used items, I think those might be, you might be able to get those through query. Um, and then you could copy paste that list, I guess. Labs.org, um, we can try that. Um, so let's try logging into Quarry. Something like use um, what's a relatively small wiki where you can test this where the query won't take too long. I don't know. Well, if, if I guess any wiki now, I'm just going to have insulted the wiki by calling it small, and it's in truth probably huge because I don't know anything. I don't know, let's use EU wiki and hope they don't mind. Uh, underscore p. Select any from WBC entity usage, I think, uh, just to see what... No! Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. No! Haha. <laughs> uh, uh, this isn't a PG stream, by the way. Haha, <laughs> how do I stop a query here? Uh, uh, limit 1 is what I wanted. Damn it. Uh, so what now? <laughs> I have a query query that's going to... Okay. Okay, I have no idea what happened to the other query, but this one finished at least, so... EU Entity ID. So what we're interested in is the EU Entity ID and count as count from WC Entity Usage. Uh, group by EU Entity ID uh, having count greater equals to, let's say, 100,000 wild guess order by count descending. And yeah, let's try this and see if that gives us the most used entity IDs on uh, Basque Wikipedia in this case. Um, and while that's going, I guess I can check my notifications. Um, so just in case there are any questions there that I'm missing, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Uh, the query is still running. This might actually take a while. It would really be better to be tried with... Uh, oh! No, we're there. Wow. Um, great. So that's 37. And I can copy just this column of the table in Firefox with uh, control mouse, oops, uh, which is a wonderful feature that Chrome doesn't have. And now select uh, any, we'll worry about that later, values entity is this, and paste the whole list in and edit with the alt key held down, I can do this. Oops. Haha. Uh, today I learned if you scroll with the alt key held down, it goes back in their page history. That's not what I wanted. WD colon and shift tab to indent it. Then we have the entities, including some properties, I assume? No, actually, only items, okay. And then filter and not exists entity RDF S. Thank you. Yes, the hint is helpful. Label, label, uh, filter lang of label equals EU. And there's exactly one item, which is uh, 
3280, that's the top used item with over 400,000 uses. Uh, the olfactories, a clade of core dates, I assume, which do not yet have a label in the Basque language. Uh, yeah. And I guess I should now put that result uh, somewhere. Um, so you uh, right now you would need to do it manually by uh, first running this uh, query most used entities on a wiki wikibase client wiki and let's open this uh, remove all of these and um, paste entity IDs here each prefixed with WD and and uh, just lang insert language of client here and then this should use uh, language and then I can get a short URL for that and put that in the description here to be used uh, can be used to find those entities that don't ha have a label yet using this query. And let's remove this and instead add something like limit 100. And I hope that doesn't take much longer. So the previous one was some 35 seconds or something. And yeah then I can I can just uh, tweet that link right now and then that should give you together with the URL in here um, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse cursor actually should give you all you need and then later I can perhaps write it up on a wiki page um, yeah but basically you would have to Oh, <laughs> I just realized this uh, might be confusing. So this is the language code of the wiki, in this case, Basque Wikipedia. This is short for entity usage and you should not replace it with the language code of uh, whatever other wiki you have. It's just a coincidence. I just realized that this is the same as here, but you only replace one of those EUs and not this one and also <laughs> not this one. Okay, so uh, publish and tweet that result. Um, first result, um, two part query, we got query service, link in the query description to find most used items on our client wiki that don't yet have a language a label in that language suggested by who was that suggested this? Uh, Jan, right. If some of them are properties, it should still work uh, and do the right thing, I think, because um, the data of a property is. So if you want, if you're looking for a statement, you use WD, WDT P31, for example. But if you're looking for the statements or labels of a property, you use the same WD prefix. So that shouldn't make a difference, except that this uh, hover here is completely broken. But so if I do like this thing has uh, RDFS label label. And you can't see a thing because of this hover that won't go away. Um, so that gives me all the labels of the instance of property. So you add this, the thing WD colon you add is the same whether you're talking about an item and property. So it should work the same way even. And I think Quarry would also return uh, property IDs here without any extra prefix. Yeah, there's one. So that should work exactly the same way. I think this is... Uh, what was it? I don't remember. 
some I, re I recognize the ID, but I don't remember what it is. Commons category, that's the one. Okay, so that's apparently highly used as well. Okay. That seems to be uh, all the questions for now. So I guess I can try to go back to this and find out why it's not working. Um month day yeah that should do the right thing except that I think statement if I phrase it like this then perhaps p361 statement and then I can disable the optimizer and it'll work, perhaps? No, not really. Mm. Do I have any other great ideas for queries to write at the moment? Mm. Or I can keep going through the request to query page and see if there's anything that, yeah, this is not finishing for some reason. to list a range of queue items. Oh. Um. I. Don't think. You can. Do that. Um this whole string anything um uh, you could do something with um you need some triple that each item has exactly once. Uh, and there is... Um, there's supposed to be one, which is... Um, oops, where is it? A Wikibase item, but we remove that in the query service uh, for optimization purposes. No, uh, site links. Every item, I think, has a Wikibase site links triple even if it's um, even if it's zero side things, I think. Let me try. Just uh, first, let's see. Item wiki side links one. If this works, limit one. No. Okay. So it has to be probably XSD integer. Yep. And now zero. Yes. What is that? That's an item with zero side links and a three digit QID. Impressive. Andrew and variants. Um, that looks like a weird item to me, but never mind, that's not my problem. Okay, so if we do an item that has any number of side links and then offset 5000 limit 3000, we should get the items 5000 to 8000 plus minus some because of uh, deleted items. But let's see if that does roughly the right thing. No, not at all. 
Okay. So it looks like internally, uh, so the default order for this is actually, uh, if we remove the offset, hmm. Okay, that's not what I expected. I was hoping for something like Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and so on. No. Okay. What if I say order by item? It probably won't do the right thing. In fact, I'm pretty sure that will time out. Uh, yeah. In that case, is there any other clever trick to find those items? I don't think so, no. Uh, where was it? There. Request a query. I think it hasn't timed out yet, but I don't think that's going to work. So, what do they actually want to do? Range of items before and after this to curate them with the right instance of. No. I, if I, the query is already looking for items with exactly this description so then can't you turn it around and say I want all items item RDFS label this thing uh, you mean description, by the way. Description. And it should also have a P155 statement, whatever that is. Follows, okay. And filter not exists item instance of. And then label service. Uh, I'll just leave that out for now. And close. Okay, there's exactly one item, which is this one. And if we remove this, uh, same thing. Um, so that's not really an answer to the question how to list the range of Q items, but I suppose it's still useful. Um, so let me just try to write a response to that. And I see there's something new in chat. I will get back to you in a second. I do SO9Q. I couldn't find an efficient way to generate a uh, range. And since you we're limiting the results to those with us. Anyways, possible to efficiently query for all of those items with this description uh, without any range restriction. Um, does that help? Alternatively, one thing you could do 
efficiently is filtered by the last location date of the item which is available in what was it uh, no this one um, date modified yeah schema date modified um, but that's the only bit of the history that's available you can't get the item creation Formatting correct. Late reply. Okay. Uh, the neat trick where you wrote WD on all the lines at once. That's if you hold down the Alt key, you can edit a rectangular area. I think that's a uh, feature of this uh, Code Mirror library, so it should work on all platforms. Um, oh yeah, okay, you already wrote that. And in Quarry, what I did, that was a Firefox feature that's holding the Alt uh, Control key down, and then you can select uh, rectangular areas of a table like that. I think that's only in Firefox and not in Chrome and uh, it's been years since I used Internet Explorer. Or you could adapt the query so that it doesn't actually select the count but only add something like order, order by count of star here. And if you do that then you could copy all the results and you wouldn't have to limit it to one column and that would work in any browser I guess. Okay. Let me check for any notifications again. Okay. Doesn't look like I've missed anything. So, actually, can you combine this into one step? I don't think so. But let me just try something. En Wikipedia API sandbox. Can you get the entity usage via the API? Uh, Something WB. Doesn't look like it. I think you can get of one particular page, like, I don't know, uh, South Pole Telescope. Our favorite example, you can get the WB entity usage. Um, yeah, so you can get the entity usage of one particular page and since this is a normal API call to the query API, this is something we could do in the query service through this uh, MW API service, but that does not give us the most used entities all across the wiki, I think. For that you're going to need quarry and that's um, yeah that's not something you can do directly in just the query service. I think you'll need that copy and paste step unless you write a tool that does essentially the same thing for you. Mm. Yeah, it's actually. I might keep that in the back of my head, but there's probably other tool ideas that are more important. Okay. 
I'm still annoyed about this that it doesn't work, but I don't understand why it doesn't work. I mean, you can try just commenting out parts and see if that works. That works. That works. So find statements part of this month. Huh? Can't be that thing many things part of December, right? Uh, yes. No, just 31. 31 days have December, exactly. So why is this so inefficient? Is the optimizer being... Is it being extra stupid? Do I have to say something? Uh, hint, uh, prior hint, gearing, reverse on this triple, even though on the right side there's an already bound variable and on the left side there's a free variable. Okay, and the hint is broken. Query hints. Have I forgotten how they work? Gearing. Forward reverse. Anyways. Uh, why is that... What's supposed to be so bad about this? Caused by query hint exceptions go prior and gearing value reverse op statement. If I remove this, no, same thing. If I remove this, okay, I don't get it. And that's going to be a timeout again. I, I think I can save this version because that'll be more useful for the people who want to copy paste it. And I should probably just use different language code so that this confusion is gone. And what's a wiki that would work here? Um, you mentioned. Swedish Wikipedia, so let's try that, sure. Um, SV Wiki, let's try a limit of 500 also. That isn't usage. And close all of these. And this would be SV. taking a while. Okay, there we go. So now we make it update this link and we get this list. Okay, this list is dominated by properties, which is a good thing, I think, because it means that a lot of the most used items... No, it doesn't mean anything, because this doesn't <laughs> filter for uh, items yet. Oh! Sh show Ah. Is there no way to see 500 entries at once, really? Uh, let's just add another option with a value of 500 and see if that does the right thing. 
It does. Yay. <laughs> I've hacked Quarry. Um, yeah, okay, so another reason why using a tool would actually be quite useful, I guess. Uh, and let's hope that the UI handles this. So I'll just go all the way up. This might take a while. Okay, we're halfway there. Uh, oh, oh no. I accidentally pressed the middle mouse button or something. Okay, so let's add WD to all of these and then add it to the remaining 150 something rows separately. And then auto indent everything with shift tab again, run the query, and there's 76 results. I have no idea if this, these are still in the original order. 66683, is that? That's not the first one in this list. Okay, so... Uh, where is... 66683, that's here, that's... Somewhere in the middle of the list, okay. So I have no idea if this is still ordered by anything. So if you were turning that into a tool, you would probably want to actually get the count from the query as well, and then use something like values entity count here, and then have this and 100 or whatever, and then you can still order by the count. Or I guess you can reorder it after you've gotten the query results in the tool, that would also work. Um, yeah. What's this? Oh, that's an online dictionary. Who named it? Which is, I assume, that's probably often used as described by source or as a reference and stated in. Doesn't have a label in Swedish, but it looks like the label in most languages is just who named it, the English name. So I guess you could just copy that into the Swedish label. And I can copy this. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, URL is too long. Damn it. Tiny URL. Let's try that instead. Nope. Eh. Ah. <laughs> the URL is too long for any URL shortener. Um, so, I mean, I can put it into a... No, I'm not logged in in this browser window, right? No, okay, so... Um, just a second, I will give you this query momentarily. Loading a bit. <whistles> uh, I have no idea if that sounds how I decent. Query dot sparkle create secret gist. There we go, and I can paste that. Can I actually paste things into the chat from here? Yes, I can, okay. There you go. Okay, I have not seen any other query ideas. Let me just check notifications one more time. Not yet, okay. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to do right now, unless I just look through uh, random wiki data items, see what I find, and 
uh, what queries I can write from that. I don't really want to end the stream already. I just wa I want to keep going a bit longer. So let's see. Just look through Wikidata, I guess, and see if I find anything to do once it loads. It's taking some time for some reason. Current highlights: Godfrey Gao, the London Bridge incident, the Albania earthquake, some people. What is the earthquake? Does it have statements? This is an earthquake. Has an image, country, location, coordinate, location, point in time. Okay. Yeah, okay, but I'm not sure what to do with that. Um, who's this guy? An actor, I guess? Actor and model? Not sure why he's a popular item at the moment. Oh, he died. He died a few days ago. Oh, that must be why. That's a shame. Um Okay, so that was uh that's a lot of depressing items. This is not going to be any better. What's this? Seventy two Aquari, is that a star? A star in the constellation Aquarius, okay. Has a lot of catalog codes. Uh has a lot of has one normal rank and three deprecated parallaxes, why? Shouldn't that be preferred rank and three normal ranks? I wonder if we can... Oh, 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 the same thing here. And the same... I feel like someone misunderstood ranks here. Uh, I have no idea who that would be. I'm not going to look through the whole history now. So, can we find that with a query? So, statements with a uh, normal value, more than one deprecated value, and no preferred value, I guess. Let's see if we can find that. Select any bind that as item and later we will move it item and what was the property parallax uh, p2214 yeah for as property oops and the property has um Firefox had a problem and crashed. Uh, that was the tab where I had the stream chat open. I think OBS is still streaming as far as I can tell, so... I guess... I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> and I guess I will try to restart my browser. Um, after it's done submitting the crash report. So, start Firefox again, this profile. Okay, thank you. So, claim P. Uh, I'm trying to record at the same time as stream. Uh, maybe my computer is not ready for that, I'm not sure. Um, Aha, and there's no chat backlog, which is a shame because I think there was a question or suggestion there. So if you can post that into the Twitch chat again, then I can try to get through to that. Rank 
null rank. Okay, I'll get to that in just a second. I just want to see if this works for a second. And filter deprecated statement one is not the, just the same one. And filter not exists normal state um, or item p third statement. rank and break that into multiple lines it's too long so that works it's just a lot of results but uh, select item and then if we comment these out and do something like a limit a hundred will it find any other cases before reaching the timeout I'm just curious if we can find more cases like this. And meanwhile the question was most injured of an earthquake but by lowest magnitude. Okay. We can try that. So that would be uh, earthquake does it have an instance of statement? Instance of earthquake, okay. And it has a number of injured. And the magnitude, is that a number or is it an item? No, it's a number, okay. Magnitude, earthquake magnitude. Uh, there's the Richter scale and the moment magnitude scale and isn't that something like it's almost the same thing but not quite uh, moment magnitude scale so I guess for now we can just use the moment scale and ignore earthquakes that have a Richter scale instead probably supposed to be pronounced Richter in English, I don't know. Um, expressed in terms of familiar magnitudes of the original, yeah, okay. So, okay, so let's just use the, is that the moment one? Yeah. Um, oops, and this should also be the number of injured. And this is the magnitude order by um, number of injured divided by magnitude. So if the magnitude gets higher, then this result gets lower. Or if the number of injured gets higher, then the result gets higher. So we want to sort by that descending limit, I don't know, 10. Charles F. Oh, he's an American, so it's probably really Richter or something. Yeah. Was well, later revised and renamed the local magnitude scale, and then the moment magnitude. Okay, okay. We have results. Uh. Oh. Ah. So here, that's uh, 375,000 injured on a magnitude eight, which is a pretty high magnitude. Um. Still. And then we have here a magnitude of 9.1 with only 6,000 people injured. That's actually the other extreme end already. Wait, is that the one that caused the Fukushima disaster? 2000, uh, 2011. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. So that only had... Um, 6,000 people injured, okay. Yep, okay, I guess it was out at sea, the earthquake itself. Um, should we get the number of dead as well? Wait, that's then the number of number of deaths. Isn't there also property casualties? 
for both? Or are casualties just the one who are dead? No, number of people dead or injured because of this event. Okay. So I guess we would actually want something like optional earthquake number of injured number of injured and optional earthquake number of deaths number of deaths and oops no number of casualties and we bind either the number of um, and we want at least one of those to be bound uh, bound number of injured or number of deaths or bound number of casualties uh, let's split that into several lines and number of casualties or the of number of deaths plus oops number of injured um like this which that's the right one as just call it number for now and we order by number divided by magnitude mhm mm and then we have so that's still that's not really the most disastrous low energy earthquakes because a lot of these are still um, high energy. You probably want something like uh, squaring or taking the square root or logarithm of some of these numbers. Uh, but there was something else. Uh, Mirbus, Mebus, I guess, on Telegram. How to find all people with given name, blah, 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 including the ones that are called uh, as part of a double name. Okay. Let's, um, I'll just dump the link here in case we don't get back to it. Uh, I guess, uh, oh, he's typing. Okay, so let's just wait for that reply. Um, so we would want, say, all the Fredericks, including the Jean Fredericks. Let's say that. Um, uh, is there an example item first? That's there's the male given name, um, and what links here? There is a fine Jean Frederic Valdec, Valdec, French apparently, though the surname sounds German to me. Okay, so let's use uh, bind as the human uh, person and the person should have the given name uh, a given name Jean Frederic and that ha has part Frederic okay so there should be optionally a has part that one and that works and now if we remove that and Charles was the suggestion that's going to be a lot of people but let's try I guess 
Um, so person, person label. Let's say the given name is an item as well, so we split it off here, given name, and say that given name it has optionally a part, uh, the one we're actually interested in, or it can just be the same thing. Mm. Let's hope this doesn't time out. Uh, 25,000 results. So there's a uh, George Brassens, Brassens. I guess he has that as the second name. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Oh, Charlie Chaplin. Uh -huh. Charles Darwin. Wait. Yeah, I guess Charlie is going to... Uh, he probably has two given name statements, right? Charlie and Charles. I think the na way nicknames or... Is it a nickname? I don't know. Oh, no, there's actually no Charlie here. Uh, yeah, the handling of that is sometimes a bit confusing. There was uh, some US president who has the same uh, thing. Um, I don't remember what who it was right now, uh, but I guess that works. Buddy Holly, Napoleon the Third, Charles the Tenth of France. There's a lot of interesting results here. Lewis Carroll. Oh yeah, Lewis is Lewis Carroll is the uh, pen name, right? And in truth, he's called some uh, Charles Ludwig Ludwig Dodgson. Okay. Yeah, that works. Um, so there's the given name. Yeah, and wait, what? Really? Cool, <laughs> I did not know that. I learned something today. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is Charles with a second name. <laughs> nice, and that's a decent image of him as well. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> um. Charles Babbage. Yeah, there's a... Uh, what? Is that vandalism or... a oh, French singer, okay. Then it's that's actually the name, okay. I guess. Um, uh, Karl, Prince of Anhalt-Zerbst. I question the validity of that statement. Uh, because... Der Schattichte, okay, whatever that means. Uh, does he have a citizenship or something? Germany, no. Uh, definitely not Germany, but... Um, in any case, that looks like a Karl to me, and not like a Charles. Um, yeah, no. So I guess that should actually be that should be Carl here. I'm not sure if I want to edit that right now. Um, so one thing we could do in the query is once th this is changed to Carl, we could still do something like um, so Carl is I, I think has a statement. Um, said to be the same as a whole list of... yeah. So we could also include that in the query and then it would be an even 
longer list. Uh, sorry, I was just typing on Telegram. Basically the same thing. If we, if I should include the set to be the same as in the query, and they also asked about um, giving getting just an aggregate number. So that would be given name label and count with uh, select given name count. As count where oops, group by given name as results where include results and this um, with an include thing is just a trick so that we only run the, res the label service after we've done the grouping and we don't have to get the label of uh, 100,000 times the same item and then group by 100,000 times the same label. Um, order by desk count. So we have Charles is the most common one and then Jean Charles, Charles Francois, Charles Henri, well, Charles Frederic uh, with a space but it's still counted as one name. Edouard, Charles, Joseph, I'm just embarrassing myself with all these French names, I guess. Emile, is that Charles Michael or Charles Michel? I don't know. Daniel, Samuel, Antoine. Uh, and then, oh, there's one without an English label. So that is uh, Charles Ernest. Um, with a label in French and nothing else. Uh, it's missing a native label, but let me just add that. Charles Er... Wait, is it Ernest with dash or with space? With dash, okay. Ernest, uh, multiple languages, and the writing system is Latin script. And then we can do name script by pasting this in here and oh I need to reload the page first and load name script and then oh do I add labels for and descriptions for male give name or compound give name? I guess for this one And now we have a uh, Charles Ernest in all kinds of languages, and the item is fixed. Uh, yeah, uh, name script, uh, short advertising. It's cool. Put it in your common JS, and then to have basically any name item, you add the you need the instance of, which is uh, family name, male given name, female given name, unisex given name, a few others, I think, writing system, and native label. And those are all the statements you really need, and then you do name script, and it adds like a million descriptions and labels for you. This actually didn't add as many descriptions as I thought, I'm not sure why. But anyways, now we have a fixed item, and now in the query results, it should look more correct. So, there we go. And since I put the other one on Twitter, I might as well do that here as well. Um, so that was first result. Uh, because otherwise I'll forget, forget it anyway. Second result. Mm. Most common... 
references of a given name, including in compound given names, in this case for Charles. Okay, I think that should work. So, yeah, and if you wanted to include the similar names, it would be something like um, I guess you would just do any number of uh, said to be the same as or uh, part of or no, has part. And then we get Charles, Carl, Carl, Carlos, Carlo, Karel, Charlie, Juan Carlos, Carol, Caroli. That's probably Caroli. Karl Heinz, Giancarlo, Kalle, Charles, Jean, Ca Jean Charles. There's the first compound one. Carlo, Karel, Carlos Alberto. Oh, we should um, definitely put a count of distinct person in that case, so we don't count some results multiple times. Carl Gustav, Carlis, Carl Christian, Carl Erik, Charles Frederick, Karel. Yeah, then you get very interesting results with a lot of people, even who where only one person has the name. Um, Okay. Meanwhile, on IRC, there was some mass net split, but no actual messages. Okay, just a lot of people leaving and joining. Whatever. Some IRC thing that I don't really understand. Uh, Okay. Um Oh yeah, right. We could still do something with this query. So to get closer to the spirit of the most disastrous low energy, so we would want to put more weight on the magnitude being small. So if we do if we for example square the magnitude then that means a higher magnitude is a disproportionately larger divisor which puts the overall which makes the overall thing that we sort by smaller so i think that would be a step in the correct direction let's try it out and just do earthquake magnitude and number and omits all the individual numbers. So that's okay. I mean I can let's just try this a bit more. Is this doing anything? Seven point one five? Not really. This one is now No, it's not really working the, that way. I think it's just uh, the high power, uh, the high energy earthquakes. It looks like they just have disproportionately many casualties so that, yeah, they still up end up at the top of the list. 
But this was different from the other one, right? Here's the top one is 7.15, then 8, then 7. And without squaring the magnitude, it's... No, it's the same. And 6, 7, 4, 6, 6, 9. Six, six, no, that's the same. Doesn't make a difference. Um, is there an... Oops. Is there an exponentiation function in Sparkle? Uh, functions on numerics. Apps, round, seal, floor, rand. No. And that's it. Okay. No. No such thing. Mm. And I think that... Oops. So this is 7.15 and then 8 and then 7, and if we sort by just the number, without the magnitude at all, that's still the same. I think the difference in these numbers here is just so large that the difference in magnitudes doesn't really balance it out. So the highest ratio of casualties to magnitude um, is just the highest number of casualties for the most part. And the top one is the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Okay. I actually thought it might be the uh, 2001 earthquake, but it's... I guess that's going to be this one? No, that's 2008. Oh, wow. Where's the 2001 earthquake? The it was 2001, right? Um, I did a stupid search. 2001 earthquake. The one on t the 25th or something. Uh, was it 2001? Or was it... When was that? Uh, I can't remember now. Was it on the 26th December? No. 2004! That's, that's the one I was thinking of. I'm not sure if that was actually one of the biggest earthquakes. That's just the one I uh, remembered because... I think that's the first really big earthquake I heard about. 125,000 injured. Doesn't have a number of deaths. So I guess, yeah, it would be... No, it should be on this list. Oh! Does it not have a magnitude? Yeah, it doesn't have a magnitude, this one. Oh. Okay, is that actually not known? Or was it just not added yet? Uh... Let's see. I assume the Wikipedia. It, it might also be again the thing with the two scales and that we need to incorporate the other scale, but uh, magnitude 9.1 to 9.3 on the MW is the moment one or the other one? MW is the mo moment scale, yeah. Yeah, so I guess I should. I might as well add that. Um, magnitude on the moment magnitude scale. I guess that's 9.2 pl plus minus 0 0.1. Um, and the reference is this thing, which Okay, now I need to turn that into a Wikidata reference. Um, that's actually probably going to be easiest if I look at the source code, right? Or a visual editor would also work. Visual editing. Just want to see all the reference parameters. 
Go on. Oops. Um, no. Edit. Casualties. Oh, there's. Uh, magnitude. There it is. Oh, ref. Uh, ref is called Satake. Is that. Is that this one? No. Okay, that's going to be easiest in source editing after all. Uh, Satake. There it is, citation. Title, long term perspectives on the la. Title. So this is now a live editing stream. And there is a URL, which is this. There is URL. And the authors are Kenji Satake, who is a seismologist, that's going to be the right one. And the author is also um, actually, I should check if there's an item for this first, shouldn't I? Long-term perspectives, and that didn't copy the spaces correctly. And tsunamis at subduction zones. Aha! There is an item for it! Huh. Sometimes Wikisite comes in useful. Yeah, there is Kenji Sataka, there's Brian F. Atwater. Yeah. Basically, the, some identifiers, that's all we want. Okay, so I can just use, um, I can get rid of all this and instead say reference stated in this, and then did it have a page or something? Well, oh, page, no, page 351 is where it was published in the surrounding journal, I guess, but this within this PDF, where is the magnitude of 9.123? Moment magnitude was in the range 9.1 to 9.3. Okay, they're just citing a few other people, but I guess that still works. So this is on this PDF. Oh no, page 351 it actually says that here. So I guess I should use the same page number. Three fifty one. Uh stated as um nine point one to nine point three, just in case anyone isn't sure what I'm meaning with the plus minus. And um as far as I understand these scales. I think, for the purpose of this query, we can almost treat those uh, scales as interchangeable. So I guess we can also do here add magnitude on the other scale. And then we should get some more results, I guess. Well, we will get the same. We will get 10 results because that's the limit. Oh yeah, now that's the... No, now this is the worst earthquake in 1556 because we added the Richter scale to the query. 800,000 deaths. And there's the one that where I just added the magnitude, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So now what? That's depressing. Don't really want to tweet that, but I have been going for an hour and a half now. I think so. I guess unless someone still has query suggestions, I might also end it here for now. And 
I will probably do this again. I have no idea how often. But... Um, oh, wait, the... Oh. Well, I started with the earthquake subject and then you continued with it, so it's not your fault, I think. Um, yeah, but I think... I definitely want to do this again. I'm not sure when. I did submit a session for the uh, Chaos Communication Congress, the assembly where I was uh, mainly last year and the year before and before that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that I'm, well, I submitted a lot of things for their call for proposals or call for participation or whatever the CFP stands for. And one of the suggestions was to do a live querying session. So that might happen end of December, uh, 27th to 30th, I think is the uh, timeline or something like that. And then it would be in a room with a live audience and streamed with high-tech equipment, which would be fun. And otherwise, I might just do this again from home here. I'll check if uh, if the recording worked out. Perhaps I can put it on YouTube or something. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Thanks a lot to everyone who joined. It was a lot of fun. And see you around, hopefully. Bye.